scholarship, basketball. And more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm your host, Victor. And I'm your host, Eduardo. There will be a FAFSA event held at the Purdue Extension to help students complete their FAFSA online on Tuesday, February 25th from 4.30 to 7. There will be another FAFSA event on February 4th from 4 to 7 in room 150 for lunch today on lines one and two, we actually don't know. Happy birthday goes out to Madeline Campbell, Emmanuel Morales, Samantha Sharp. Now on over to weather and sports. The temp today is a high of 41 and a low of 30. It will be rainy today, but there will be snow showers late tonight. Here is the quote of the day. There is no peace without a passion to create. There is no passion without peace to guide. Knowledge fades without the strength to act. Power blinds without the serenity to see. There is freedom in life. There is purpose in death. The force is all things, and I am the force. Now to Violet with sports. Thanks, Chris. Great job to the Hot Dogs for performing well in the swimming match with Clinton Central. Top finishers were Patience Dean and Carly Santos. Varsity Girls Basketball lost to Southmont 55-53. Jordan Frazier led the Dogs with 15 points. JV also lost in a close game, 39-30. Madison Cook led the offense with a season high of 14 points. Congrats to everyone for playing a good game. Today, the boys JV and varsity basketball will both be traveling to Peru High School with JV starting it off at 6:15. Good luck. There will be a mandatory meeting Thursday, January 30th, right after school in room 305 for all the girls planning to play softball. Anyone planning needs to be at this meeting in order to get needed information regarding practice schedules fundraisers, and ordering of needed equipment and uniforms. That's it for sports. Now back to the studio. The last night for Noises Off was performing the FHA theaters. If you weren't able to make it, you have two more days to come out and watch the show. There, the show will begin at today at 7 and tomorrow at 2. Tickets are only 5 bucks. Taking any production class such as theater, radio, TV, or music, there is a Clay County Civic Theater scholarship for $1,000. If you are wanting this scholarship, applications are in student services. Applications are due April 17th. That's all for today's announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have a good weekend, guys. Oh.